Hey guys, movie fan here. Not too long ago, I did a live stream with my friends and I talked about Power Rangers 2017, how Jason and Amy got their little cameo parts. And I put it down that they pretty much auditioned for it. Now, well, I found the video talking about it and I'm going to say that the way I put it was a little off, but I just couldn't think of a better way to put it. But anyway, I found the video and I'm going to share it with you. And you are not gonna believe this. So Amy Jo Johnson, of course, I think secrets out that you make a small cameo. A little cameo. In the new Power Ranger People movie. Don't blink while you're watching the end of the movie. You might miss me. But I hear <laughs> talking, there. talking to a few other uh, former Rangers, and I yeah. know like Steve Cardenas, other people like they they try to you know get a spot in this movie because it's a huge thing in this new generation for yeah. Power Ranger fans. But they, they they couldn't do it, and they so how do, how did you sneak in there? Like I feel like you're you're really lucky to get this opportunity. I know. Well, actually, I was a little sneaky. Um, wow. Yeah, I was. So I had my agent in the U.S. try as well, but and she couldn't get anywhere. So um, um, I had my agent here call the production office while they were shooting, which was really hard to find the production office because they were under the name Shirt. Oh, it was like uh, under. Secret. Secret, secret underground and just called and like planted the seed on the ground while they were shooting to the director and the and the line producer and the people who were actually doing the movie and within two weeks they called and said come on and do a cameo with JDF so I don't know the whole story but I, I know that they were telling my agent in the states no for a long time oh, wow. and then finally we just we, we uh, called we called the production yeah. I thought well, I thought for sure like <laughs> and that was my agent here Glenn Coburn's idea so that for sure, like, you know, you being the like the original Kimberly Hart and, and like one of Well, I think the they're favorite. happy now. I think they're happy oh, I think that it they did out, it. But it's I'm surprised they didn't like out. have you like that was the for, if I was making the movie, that'd be like a first thing I would do. I'd be like, okay, we gotta we gotta get some cameos in there. Every movie it's I all know. I don't know. I don't I mean I can kind of understand of wanting to separate mm. the original series from what the fresh what they're doing right now and yeah. and I understand that. And so it, it's nice that it did work out that we got to actually have the cameo. I know after the the screening at the premiere, Walter Jones came up to me, he's like, how'd you get in there? And I'm like, I called the production office. He's <laughs> like, no, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Anyway, so it's kind of interesting little tidbit. Yeah, and I know, I know maybe a little glimmer of hope for the future too. Maybe the Rangers who didn't make it in this one, <laughs> there will be sequels. Maybe they'll like for the Just next- call the production office yeah. guys. <laughs> That's the trick. The next, you know, a few Power Ranger Don't movies. Don't call Heim. He yeah. won't let you in there. Yeah. No. Call the office. That's, that's <laughs> just call cool. the office. Just call the office. Right? Or just walk they're on. like, they're probably, you know, shooting on set and they're like, hey, Amy Jo just called. She wants to be in the movie. Oh. You well, show up, yeah. She's Canadian now. Yeah, There's that shot in Vancouver. Sure. Or just throw like the Fly old the old Ranger suit on and just sneak onto the set and they won't even be like, what? Why is her? Well, that's what JDF did to get in there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> He just walked up to, do we have a Green Ranger in this movie? Because I'm looking at the script and I don't think we do. It's like, what are you talking about? I am like, I'm this. here. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much, Amy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I think it goes without saying. That is total BS. That she had to work that hard to get a cameo appearance, for crying out loud. I don't know about Jason. Nothing's been said about him and he never said anything. But either way, this is total BS. Because you know what? I mean, Amy and Jason are legendary. All the Rangers are legendary. And look, I'm sorry. I love her, but I totally disagree with her thought on that subject that they just wanted to separate the original show from this. I'm sorry. That is no excuse for me. And, you know, let's get real, people. Who is the target audience for Power Rangers? A new generation? Sure. Kids and teenagers? Yes. But who is going to be the ones who are definitely gonna go see a power rangers movie us the original fans we are the ones who are definitely gonna buy tickets to go see it so it is a given to try to get the original cast members to make cameo appearances and they literally went underground so the original cast members couldn't get a hold of them and they didn't even try to get a hold of the original cast members except for possibly jason which, again, I really don't know because nothing has been said if he had to fight to get in or not. But either way, this is total BS. Because, I mean, the, she literally had to go through two of her agents in both countries, Canada and here, to try to find and get in. 
And obviously, she made it very clear that Haim Saban, you can't count on him for nothing. She did say that. So, And well, let's get real. We know you can't count on him. Well, you can count on him to be cheap, but that is it. And either way, you got to be kidding me. She actually had to work to get in. And I still can't believe... You know, I still cannot believe this. She had to literally worm her way in. I mean, I'm sorry. I said this once. I'll say it again. When fans are going to be there to watch this, it is practically an unwritten rule that you've got to get the original cast members in it to do a cameo appearance. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again. They missed a golden opportunity with this because they could have had all the original Rangers, minus Tui Train because she's gone, but they would have had Jason, Amy, Walter, Austin, Steve, Karen, Johnny, David, all of them. They could have had them play their parents, and that would have been a beautiful passing of the torch. They blew it big time. They really did. They blew it. And again, they had to, she had to literally fight to get in. I've never heard of anything like this before. Now, granted, nobody ever talks about making cameo appearances. It's not like anyone ever interviewed, you know, the stars from Starsky and Hutch to talk about their cameo appearance in the movie, you know? But you would think that when the cast members are still alive from the original TV shows that the movies are based off of, you would think that it would be a given that they must try to find those cast members and ask them to come in. But apparently for Saban and Dean Israelite, the answer was, no, we're not going to do it. But then Amy got involved and, okay, we'll do it. But either way, that, that is just messed up. And you know what? This needs to be talked about. So anyone who's watching this, please share it with the world. The world needs to know this type of BS. And for the upcoming film, which we have had no information on, hopefully we can push forward to have the original Rangers make a cameo appearance in that one too, and hopefully have them play their parents. Let me know what you think. This is Movie Fan, signing off.